I'll give you a couple of verses and when you gotta go, just let me know, all right? So, here go a verse right here. Well, first of all, what's your nationality? Uh, my dad is black. Okay. My mom is white. Yeah. My dad don't really know his dad, so I can't really. Yeah, know. yeah, We a lot of us can't go back too far. You know, that's prophesied in the Bible as well. So, but we'll talk about that. So, let me give you this verse right here, right? This is the book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38 and you said something interesting you said you said if, if, if you follow Christ you got to do what he says so let me give you two verses to link up real quick this is John 14 and 15 first John 14 and 15 says if you love me keep my commandments so if Christ is saying keep my commandments where are his commandments found up Okay. All praises. Hey, hey, this brother might know something. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, we were just talking to him down there. You remember me, right? Yeah, yeah we just talking. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. That's what, he got a crumb right here. Oh, yeah. Down. No, you good. You good. So, that's the thing about it. Okay, all praises. So, he said the Old Testament. Well, this is a verse from the Old Testament, right? This is Numbers 15 and 38. And it reads, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make fringes in the corners of their garments throughout their generations. Right, so what we teach our people is we're supposed to be wearing these fringes, man, because number one, it says throughout your generations, but number two, this is a commandment that Christ will stand beside. Right? So I will ask you a question. If we if we were able to give you some fringes right now, would you wear them? Would that be would that become a part of your custom? Well, if uh, if I was to go by the teachings of Christ, yeah, he says to clean the inside of the cup. Not a word outside so I really wouldn't feel like wearing the fringes would be doing me too good because my heart I know I've, I've done some things that I probably gotta not eat food for a couple of days and, and do whatever I have to do to to get my Holy Spirit back you know okay filled up again and you know God willing you know what I'm saying he yeah don't, he don't owe me that you know what I mean yeah but you know what I'm saying he has forgiven me in the past, and I believe that he will. It's just, uh, I, I have a problem with smoking weed and, and getting drunk and and chasing girls and stuff. And well, hold on. You said you have a problem with that. Yeah. What does that mean? It, do that Do that mean that you actively trying to change it? Because I used to say that too. Yeah. When I was smoking weed, I used to be like, yo, it's hard to stop this. No, I am actively trying to change. Okay. I go to yeah. church and embarrass myself every day. What I, mean, but I go there and tell them, you know, mm -hmm. hey, I, God told me to stop smoking weed and and drinking and watch porn and I'm not really doing it. So you, you know, know that's you, why I'm not the sun not shining for me right now. You but know you what I'm saying? But you, but you know how you stop smoking weed though, straight up? You know how you stop smoking weed? And I'm gonna give you a scripture. But this is how you stop smoking weed. Whatever you got, you got a 20 bag or whatever at the house, you throw that away and then you don't buy no more. That's how you start smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, straight up, because every time, when that, like what I used to do is, I'll be like, damn, I ain't gonna smoke it, but I'm gonna keep what I got though. Yeah. Because I don't wanna waste that money. Right, right, right. Yeah. I'm gonna keep what I got. Then when I'm down bad, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm like, right, right there. I can't fight it because yeah. it's right there. Yeah. So you get rid of what you have immediately first. Then you start looking at, all right, cool. Damn, I really want to smoke a blunt. Now I ain't gonna hit that brother up. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go get that. You see what I'm saying? And then you, you, one step at a time. I'm gonna give you a precept. Let me finish reading this one though, in numbers, because there's a reason you gotta wear them It's gonna help you out with stopping to smoke weed. Right. Right. 
uh, it says, bid them that they make fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put a friend on the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. Watch this. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it and remember the commandments of the Lord. Yo, you have you ever um, you ever went like to school or something like that and you had to dress up? Or you went to church and you had to put on a white shirt? And because you got that white shirt on, you're not gonna eat nothing messy. Right, right. You're not gonna do certain stuff because of how you're dressed. Right, you ain't trying to mess it up. See what I'm saying? When you got these fringes on, it do something psychological to you. And you be like, damn, I can't fuck up. I got my fringes on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a psychological thing. Most I created our mind. He understand how it works. That's why he want us to wear the clothes that communicate with culture we're a part of. And it's going to help us. Right? Let's get that Ezekiel 33 and 14. Uh, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 14. Again, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And what is the wicked? The wicked is anybody who doesn't keep the commandments. I was wicked. He was wicked. Right. This brother was wicked. We all was in the same boat, man. Chasing women. I don't want to talk about it all the time. Chasing women. Me, I, I, I failed out of college my freshman year. I ain't go to class. I probably went to five classes the whole semester. Right? I was just partying, me, drinking, you know, and hung over the whole time. Same boat. So we all came from that. But it's possible to come up out of that, man. It ain't got to be hard, right? Keep right. Thou shalt surely die. If he turn from his sins and do that which is lawful and right, if the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed. Walk in the statutes of life without committing iniquity. He shall surely live. He shall not die. You see that? But I want you to jump down to verse 16. Watch this. Verse 16. None of his sins that he hath committed shall be mentioned unto him. He hath done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Hey, and that's what you were saying. You was trying to get yourself straight so the most I can give you your righteousness back. This is how you do it, man. You, you literally have to put your foot to the plow. And it's the same thing. Brothers always talk about, yeah, don't turn back. Yeah, you can't turn back, man. Like, when you make up your mind, you find a community of people that's like-minded, and they will help you. That's why the scripture says, two are better than one. Iron sharpens iron, right? X, Y, and Z. Don't try to do it alone, because you're going to fail. I'm telling you. When I was trying to stop smoking, and I was by myself, bro, that was, that was when it was hitting me the hardest. Right. But when I got a brother that's like, nah, hey, look, yo, let's go do this. Let's go to this football game. Let's do this. Let's do that. You don't have enough time to sit down and get afflicted in your own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me give you another one. So, well, first of all, let me ask this. What do you know about the Israelites? Because I know you say you spoke to him before. So what do you understand about the Israelites? I know you say you just went to church. I understand that they don't know and preach. Word, both the you know what I'm saying the meat and the milk yeah. and you don't tell people things that I was told as a kid yeah. that led me to go to God and then you know and still be doing the other and, stuff and, yeah and, and yeah it was yeah. like it was like it was just a messed up testimony uh, just 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 stupid foolishness you know yeah. God told me Holy Spirit told me going through the wilderness. Okay. And I, I'm sitting there telling the Holy Spirit, man, I want to I wanna go tell my friend about this feeling I got in my heart because he, he smokes weed and he gets drunk and, yeah. and he don't really believe in God and I want to tell him about it. And he was like, no. And I was like, what, he's my friend, you know? No. I got knocked on his door anyway, you know? It's like, hey, man. I, just had a, I got out of Christian camp, and I, I was just like, you know, he's like, man, my dad's out of town. I got this liquor. I got this weed. You know, and I was like, man, first, first of all, the feeling that I got in my heart and soul is so much better than weed, alcohol, I've ever been. Yeah. You know, and he was like, well, if you feel so good now, think about how good you gonna feel after you smoke this wow, weed. Wow, that was safe. That was safe. Uh, hey, look, I, we all have friends like that. I used to tell my, I used to tell my homeboy like, yo, I'm about to, I'm about to put the blunt down and stop smoking. He'll be like, man, you did that last time. It only lasts you like a week last time. Hey, look, hit me up when you done, when you done with that phase. You know how they hit you with that? 
hit me up when you're done with that phase, man. Like, oh, when I first started, um, when I first got real serious with my wife, and I told my brother, I was like, hey, man, I think, I think I'm probably gonna just kind of chill on all this extra stuff. I'm just gonna be with my wife, right? He was like, man, you sound stupid. Like, that, that's what he hit me with. So it's like, that's Satan. You just gotta understand that's the spiritual force inside that person trying to keep you from these commandments. But let me read a couple of verses to you. I'm gonna show you this one first. Can y'all give me some bridges? Yeah, for sure. I, I don't have any today. But you link up with me, I'll have them next to you. Yeah. Matter of fact, I was this close to bringing some extra fringes. This close. Because I always tell myself, I'm going to throw some extra ones and I ain't bringing them. Yeah. Yeah, you can get them. I did. Get them. Yeah, we actually have some Zeke Zeke. Zeke Zeke are just like these. It's those right there. Yeah. That go with the commandments too. It's basically a different type of friend. So I can give you some of those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought you were saying you had something. But yeah, that's basically what it is right there. That's it. Yeah. What's it called? It's a ZZ. -Z. So basically, it's, it's uh, now, hey, don't take it if you ain't gonna keep it and wear it. No, I'm going to, man. Okay. Hey, I'm over here. All the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. At least the two. Well, okay. I need that one back. That's not the one. I thought he was trying to say he could donate it. Oh, okay. but yeah. <laughs> My fault. But I'll have some for you next week for sure. All right? right? You're so, get a precept inside right. Yeah, I'm going to show you a precept inside right real quick to show you what believing in the Lord is. Then you can balance that against everybody you know who says they believe in the most. Right? This is Sirach chapter 32 and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. And he that trusteth in him shall never fare the worse. So if you actually believe in the most high God, you're going to start following these commandments. And nothing else is going to get in your way. Not your flesh. Right? Not your mind. Not nobody else's flesh and nobody else's mind. You're going to follow the most high spirit. And that's going to lead you into a different level of life. Right? Yeah. That's, that's what I want. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I went out to the bar. Some guy was like, hey, man, you want to go to Winston? And, uh, this guy I went to church with. Yeah. And. I told him, uh, I'm trying, to, trying to be with God, and I don't really want to smoke weed no more. And he was like, "Well, why don't you do some LSD, man? You know, man, I did LSD, man. <laughs> and I, I'm looking at this dude, and he's like transforming and stuff, like looking like the devil, bro. And we go to the bar, and he's like, "Go talk to me." It was just weird. It's like he. Older than everybody there at the bar, it's a college bar. Right. It's yeah. just, everything was just like, yeah, man, I'm I'm sitting here in the dark. Everybody here, nobody here praising God. Everybody, right. everybody here, you know what I'm saying? Like here for some reap for the same thing. The verse he got gonna go exactly what you talking about. And like, it's I'm gonna let you finish that. But what you're saying, it's a per certain point. I want you to see. It's the book of Sirach, chapter six, starting at verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion, and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Hey, that's crazy, right? Some people are a friend for their own occasion. Yeah. And he might have been using you like, all right, cool. We'll get this dude in here. I'm gonna ask him for five dollars later on in the night, or what? You don't, you don't know what it is, man. Or while you was on, while you was on that substance. You could have been impaired. That man could have been taking dollars out your, out your wallet right. or some shit. Like, we just never know, man. So, let me say this. You want to put yourself in a position to win, right? If you're trying to be a good basketball player, are you going to spend your free time practicing free throws and dribbling and damn layups? Or are you going to spend all your free time smoking weed and playing video games? No, right. if you want to be a good basketball player, you got to do the things that's going to put you in position to win, right? This right here is putting you in position to win. That's all we're saying. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you're going to see it's going to be one choice at a time. Every time you get a chance, you got to you gotta make the right choice, man. You're going to live. Yeah, that's right. You got to win the small battles. Yeah. That's how you do it, man. So, yeah, hey, link up with us. We out here every week on Saturday at 3 o'clock. And we, I'll be here with your friends next week. I'm gonna be looking for you. I'm gonna bring What's you your name? Shirt. You're gonna have two. What's All your right. name? Cameron. 
Okay, Kyle, I'll pray. I'm Z A M E R O N. Okay, I'm gonna save your name, matter of fact. Write that down. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm save your name and I'm gonna have a shirt next week and I'm gonna be waiting on you. All right? All right. I'll pray. I'm gonna have another shirt for you too. So you got two of them. That way you can alternate, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's what's up. I'll pray. Nah, that's what's up. Shalom. Hey, that's